Hello viewers, today we're going to discuss dynamic action part 2. You know, in our earlier video on dynamic action, we discussed about dynamic action, how to uh, enable and disable and show and hide the items. Those are actually the scalar operations, for like not uh, accessing the database. Today, we're going to access the database and set value from the uh, database to the items based on the uh, parameters we provide in the input text or select item. Uh, before the dynamic action was introduced in Oracle uh, in Oracle Apex 4, these operations have to be done by Ajax. And you know, we're going to discuss uh, Ajax in our later videos. And then we'll, uh, we'll discuss how to do that. And you will find it actually a bit difficult uh, than, than the dynamic action. The dynamic action actually made our uh, uh, task very easy. The developers can achieve the output of the Ajax without having to coding a single line in JavaScript or XML or anything like that. Only the wizard based processes and some query is enough to achieve that goal. So, let's uh, see what we are going to do today. Let's see our form, how it looks like. This is the so, this is the form uh, we are going to demonstrate the dynamic action here. The our idea is we will provide a department number here, and whenever we move or change whenever we lose focus then the department name manager's name and the department location will be shown in these three fields so uh, this is the idea we're going to do this see if i provide department number nothing is uh, done here so we're going to create a demo, dynamic action and show you how to do that to do that you know as of now we have done all the things in our this kind uh, in a component view but today we're going to do it in designer view this is the designer view of the oracle apex interface now this is our p11 dept field this is uh, this is my input field so now right button click the right button you have you see create a dynamic create dynamic action now click here you see here's a message so it's a it's showing the error now we're gonna uh, make changes here so that there is no error here's the name see the uh, property panel here we'll make the name is set dpt info this is the name of the dynamic action it is based on the change and dpt item based on dpt item now it is actually done now we're gonna change in show you see the action is show we're gonna change the action to set value now what type of set it will be it will be a SQL query now here is the box you're gonna you have to provide the SQL query here. You see, this is the query we have done here. What is the uh, output of this query? If we run it, you see, if we provide 20, then the result is, you see, marketing, the name of the manager of the, the department, and this is the address of the department. So this is the output we are going to see. This is, we are going to uh, set the uh, department name field with uh, with the name marketing and uh, the manager name with the with this name and the location will be this one so let's copy this one you can try it with your example if this is just an example you can do it your way now paste it now see what happens okay it is accepted so uh, the query is valid page item to submit this is a very important uh, option you have to provide this this is the item you see since this one is the parameter we are going to uh, give as input so you have to provide this one in, as page item to submit 
and here's the field which field is affected i mean the column names the output of the uh, query will be affect will be set in which field and this this has to be in sequence of the query so let's specify the items now department name and then again manager and then location you see in our query we first provided the department name and then the name and then the street address okay so in this sequence the value will be populated here so the uh, dynamic action seems to be okay there is no uh, error here now let's save it now let's run it let's see what happens okay here let's see what happens if i provide 20 what happens okay, let's let's change a bit oh that's the problem it was it should be 11 p11 okay now let's save it now run the page you see 10 okay the value is changing if i provide 30 here what will be there yes the purchasing is here now you see if uh, uh, one of the options here was fire on page load yes so that's why when i run this page this page is populated with the values because 30 is still there so one type of dynamic action has been complete and this is the uh, most of the cases you will do this now let's do another type of dynamic action now another type of operation we can do here in epic 4 is dependent select list you know in this kind of operation this uh, dependent select list is also populated through ajax call you know in um, apex prior to epic 4 we had to do this with ajax call so to demonstrate this uh, dependent select list we, we will uh, uh, change the dpt field as text field we will change the dpt as it uh, from text field to uh, select list okay let's make it select list okay you know here is a error uh, so you have to assign an lov with it this is the list of values what type of list of values it is it will be shared component you know we have a an lov created in the shared component so i am assigning this shared component here so now let's save it and run it this is the purchasing if i select this one uh, no data is here now it what happened okay you see so if i change the item from text to select this this one also what now we will create a select dependent select list in emp so that whenever i uh, select the department the employee of that department are populated in the select list of emp now let's do it now change the emp p11 emp to from text field to select list okay now here is the problem you see you see what kind of lov it is it is SQL query LOV. Now we'll write an SQL query here. Select last name concatenated five 
first name name is D and employee ID are from employees hires the PTNO department ID department ID equal to P11 the PT okay this is the LV okay now we will have to make changes here okay next let's save it and then we'll have to uh, uh, let's change to component component view in the component view we will have to provide one additional information in LOV which is uh, we're not gonna show any extra value here or null value here now this is the very important thing here cascading LOV parent item okay this is very important uh, why I don't know why I didn't find it in the uh, designer view but here in the co component view here it is this is the parent cascading LOV parent item this one and page item to submit is also this one now you see P 11 DPT is the cascading foreign parent ID uh, parent information and this is this is the uh, page item to be submitted and here it is the higher clause this is also same so apply changes let's see what happens now let's run the page see what happens see accounting and these two are the employees name of the account accounting department now if I move it to IT let's see what happens you see the change also the list of employee also changes thank you for watching thank you everybody